Hello everyone and welcome back. Previously we installed the Cardano command line interface and the Cardano node on our computer. In this section we're going to learn how to generate and fund a Cardano wallet with the command line interface. To get started we're going to set our Cardano node socket path. So join me in your terminal and we'll get started. We're going to set the variable to the corresponding path of the socket path parameter that we'll use when we run a Cardano node later on. So we're going to use the following command. We're exporting a new environment variable, the Cardano node socket path. And this is going to link to our home directory slash Cardano node slash relay slash node socket. So you have to make sure you do have node dot socket at this exact path, your home folder slash your username slash Cardano dash node slash relay. So you can check that you have that file. You should have it if you did install Cardano CLI and Cardano node. So hit enter to create the variable. And you can also check to see that you have the environment variable added with Vim using vim squiggle dash forward slash dot zshrc and you can check that you have that cardano node socket path using your arrow keys if you don't have it in your list of environment variables just paste it here into the list by hitting i to enter the insert mode and then paste in that line then hit escape to exit insert mode and enter command mode then hit shift zz to go back to the terminal. All right, and that is going to add the Cardano node socket path environment variable. All right, so that is going to allow us to set the Cardano node socket path. Join me coming up next. We're going to set up our project, generate our Cardano wallet, and fund it. Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to generate a Cardano wallet keys and address with the Cardano command line interface. So join me in your terminal. We are going to enter our home folder and here we're going to create a new folder. You can call this anything such as hello Cardano. Then we're going to CD into the Hello Cardano folder. So now we're inside of our new folder, which currently doesn't have any content. So how do we generate a new Cardano wallet? First, we need to build the payment verification and signing keys. So we're going to use the following command. We're using the Cardano command line interface address command. This is going to generate a new address. We're using key gen, we're generating the address keys. The addresses allow us, the keys to the address allow you to access the address and send and receive funds. We're passing the flag verification key file, which we will call payment.v key. This will be a new file created in our Hello Cardano folder. We're also passing a flag called signing key file called payment.skey. This will generate a new file called payment.skey in our Hello Cardano folder. So we can hit enter and we can inspect the contents of our folder with the command dir on Windows or ls on Mac. And we should have payment.skey and payment.vkey. This will contain the public verification key in payment.vkey and the private signing key in payment.s key. So the public verification key you can give out to receive funds. The private signing key you want to not share because it's how you can you can access your address and send funds from the address. All right, so next up we can use the keys to generate an address. The address is how we can request ADA coin and the address is typically what you'll give out versus the public and private keys. Typically, you'll give out the address if you want to receive funds. And your address is also the one that will be public on the blockchain whenever you do transactions. So we are using the following command. And remember, you can find all the commands in the source files for this section. 
we're using the Cardano CLI address command. This time we're using the build command. Before we had key generation, now we're building an address. We're passing the flag payment verification key file payment.vkey. This is our public verification key. Then we're passing in a flag out file called payment.adra. This is going to be the address file where our wallet address is stored. So we'll create this new file, this out file. Also, we're passing the flag testnet magic. This means we are creating a wallet on the Cardano test network. This is a parallel network to the mainnet, but it's typically for development because you don't want to overload the mainnet and you don't want to use real cryptocurrency to test out your projects. So we can use the testnet where we can try out our projects, try out transactions, and it's all free with test ADA coin. We're passing the flag testnet magic and we're passing in the string one 0979-11063. This is the number for the network. So then you can hit enter. And now if you inspect your contents of your folder, you will now have payment.adra or address for short adra. It will be added to your folder. So you can save your address hash in a variable for easy access. For that, use the following command address equals dollar sign cat payment dot address. So this means we're taking the contents of the file payment dot address and we're saving them in a variable called address. This is an optional step, but likely you will want to access your address so you can create a variable from it. So now we have our payment.address file containing our address. We have our payment.s key containing our private signing key for when we want to sign transactions, which means we send them and we pay for them with this address. And we have our payment.v key, which is a file that contains our public verification key. The private one you want to not share at all costs. The address is what you can share and is what will be public when you do a transaction. All right, so now we have our address, which we can use on the test network for Cardano. But how do we fund the address? Because currently, we don't have any ADA coin or any test ADA coin in the wallet. So join me in the next lecture. We're going to learn how to fund the wallet address with ADA coin. Hello everyone and welcome back. Previously we learned how to generate a Cardano wallet keys and address with our Cardano command line interface. In this lecture we're going to learn how to fund our Cardano wallet address. Every time you want to submit or sign a transaction to the blockchain you have to pay a fee and you have to pay this with ADA coin. You have to pay the fee whether you're on the mainnet or the testnet. For the mainnet, you have to use real ADA. For the testnet, you can use free test ADA coin. Sending a native token requires at least one ADA with the transaction. So how can we get some test ADA to try out? Well, we can go to a testnet faucet to request free test ADA coin, which we will get automatically. So join me at the website developers.cardano.org slash docs slash integrate dash cardano slash testnet dash faucet. Here you can choose the type of cryptocurrency that you want, T ADA or test coin. We want T ADA, which is test ADA. Test coin is slightly different, which we don't need. If you'd like to test the native token functionality, then you can use test coin, but we're just using default funds in T ADA. Next, we need to enter our crypto wallet address. So how do we get our address? Well, we have to go into our project folder and open the file of payment.adra. So here I'm in Visual Studio Code and I am inside of the file payment.adra. Here, you just want to copy this entire string, then go back to the testnet faucet and paste in your address right there. So this is the address to send funds to. You don't need an API key. You can click I'm not a robot and then hit request funds. 
Now I have too many requests because I already did a request today. So I have to wait one more day. You are limited to one request per day. And you can get an API key to bypass that. But if this is your first request of the day, then you'll see the message, your transaction has been successful and a thousand ADA have been sent to your address. So now you have some test ADA coin. So just like that, you have been able to fund your Cardano wallet address. So now you can sign transactions with that address on the test network because you have test ADA. This ADA will not work if you want to sign transactions on the mainnet. It only works for signing transactions on the test net. For the mainnet, you have to have actual ADA coin that you purchase. Join me coming up in the next section. We're going to learn how we can run a Cardano node via the Cardano command line. So this will be running a node, which means we can interact with the blockchain. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.